looking into the paranormal veil. Death waits for no one when it calls. Purgatory is the spirit's jail. Built behind the blind man's wall. Catch the specter behind the glass. He repeats the disembodied voice. It all happens when the bones are cast. After death, there is no choice. Looking into the paranormal veil. Death waits for no one when it comes. Purgatory is a spirit's jail. Built behind a blind man's wall. Pastors and healers and shamans and poets. We explore. How you doing, YouTube? It's, it's Donny from Jason Bones Inspectors. I went and did one house blessing this morning and it turned out pretty good. Uh, today, Ra and I are going to a uh, old client's house, a couple of YouTubians, uh, to recheck everything, make sure everything's good, and uh, Ra can tell you the rest. All right. Hello, YouTubians. Well, Danny already introduced me, so what's going to happen is we're going back to Marianne and Hank's place. Uh, they had some work done around the windows and they feel, and feel that maybe the warden, warnings that we uh, put on have been weakened. So we're going to go there, re-strengthen them, uh, bless, you know, bless the place one more time, and just make sure everything is on the up and up. And again, I remind you all, you know, don't forget to hit that bell and subscribe button. You know, let your friends know about us Crazy Canucks and what we do up here in the grand old city of Thunder Bay, Ontario. Peace and love. Okay, we're back at our friend's place. And we're just going to double check it. <clears throat> the kitchen is clear. That's clear. something here. The watch is in here. It's not the same thing that it was before. No. It's something different. That's a blast of chill. That is a... <laughs> yeah, right down here. Something. It's just a regular light switch. Yeah, but I just ran my hand over there and it clean came back on. Check and see if you're in trouble with this plate again. Mm -hmm.
can here. It's gonna go right up your barn. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's cold there. Was that corner before? There's two things in here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'll have to figure out what they are before we can do anything about it. Like I said, like when I was in the living room, I felt a warmth. I'm not feeling it now. Well, but she's not. It's not because of her state. <laughs> no. Definitely. Definitely, definitely. All right. Just All right. again. In the pantry. In the pantry. Uh, it's always done that since you guys left. It's always done that. Even before. All of them do it. Even in Dean, like on everybody's apartment, they shut off. Yeah, you can really feel the energy off this mirror. Oh, yeah. Before I even turn it over. Yeah, just by looking at the back of it, you can tell it's an old mirror. Bless this mirror. By the four directions, the four directions. The elements, the elements, the animals, the animals. Totems and the totems. Whatever is in this mirror must leave and come out of, into this room now. <laughs> it's not in there now. No, I think it came out before you turned it over because I lost focus there. Okay. I now bless and seal this mirror that nothing may enter or leave through it ever again. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. By the elementals. And by the archangels. This mirror is now cleansed and shall never again be possessed by anything. See you, see ya. All right, let's go to that other mirror. Okay, there's nothing in this mirror, but it's definitely a portal, so. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, I close this mirror's portal, never to be opened again. Nothing may enter or pass through it. The elementals and the good spirits the totems close this portal. Alright. And here's the new crib for the new little lad. For Jack. Jack, I bless this crib with all that is good. Light energy. May the guardians protect you. The angels, the guardian angels, and all the heavenly hosts. This crib is blessed and safe forever. Now I'm just going to simply bless these pictures. Dear Lord, take anything unclean, unholy, anything nasty, anything that might be attached to any of this stuff, and remove it. Thank you. Mother Moon, Mother Earth, Brother Sun, Sister River. Bless everything in this house. Blessings. Keep everything that is nasty out of this house. Blessings. Let spirits, only good, come to this house. Blessings. May people get along with people. Blessings. May spirits get along with spirits. Blessings. And above all, may peace be in this home. Blessings. All right, 
This shield is my power against evil. This shield keeps out harm. This shield does not allow demons or negative entities to pass through it. This shield is my domain, and I alone determine what is allowed to pass. No dark entities shall pass through this shield. As I will it, so mote it be. This shield is my power against evil. This shield keeps out harm. This shield does, does not allow demons or negative entities to pass through it. This shield is my domain, and I alone determine what is allowed to pass. No dark entities shall pass through this shield. As I will it, so mote it be. Hey, old man, are you here? Come talk to me. You see me? That's good. What are you doing here? You came white. Come here. You crossed? Do you want to be crossed over? Do you want to be crossed over? I'm going to pour water for you so you can leave. Would you like me to pour water for you? Go ahead. So you have a choice. You can leave on your own and I'll pour water for you. Or Astro can take you out of here. Your choice. Please? Yes? Hey, I'll pour water for you. You must leave here and never return. You understand me? Do you understand me? Leave, yes, you must leave. Tones in communication. Well, we made that clear. Mm -hmm. What is that? <coughs> it's a spirit box, so that I can... Oh. I think we'll do the whole actual. What it does is it picks up uh, frequencies between AM and FM, oh. where the spirits communicate. I pour water for the good. Blessings. I pour water for the respect of spirits. Blessings. I pour water to cool you off, both temper and hot wise. Blessings. I pour water to console you. Blessings. I pour water so that you may journey to where you must go. Blessings. I pour water to heal you. Blessings. I pour water to show you forgiveness. Blessings. I pour water for peace to you. Blessings. I pour water so that you may go from one place to another. Blessings. I pour water to show love. Blessings. I pour water to give thanks. Blessings. I pour water so you may be safe. Blessings. Bless you. Blessings. Bless you. Blessings. Bless you. Blessings. You may now leave. I felt that. Mm-hmm. He passed through while you were pouring. The camera went out of focus. Okay. All right, shut it down. Okay, the last thing we're going to do is get rid of any negativity that's still in the house and this other jerk-off thing that's running around. I place this holy crossword dust and holy salt. Anything negative must get into here now. You have no choice. Any dark, twisted human soul, into there now. You've had your chance, you haven't left, you're now trapped here. 
We're going to leave this for five minutes, then we'll get rid of it, and then i got to get you to seal that last window. That's it. Oh, yeah. You can feel that. You are no longer allowed here ever. Nothing could ever come back in this place. I banish you. You are now banished. This I will dispose of in my own due time. All right, now Ra's going to seal that last window, and we're done. All right. This shield is my power against evil. The shield keeps out harm. The shield does not allow demons or negative entities to pass through it. This shield is my domain, and I alone determine what is allowed to pass. No dark entities shall pass through this shield. As I will it, so mote it be. Yeah, so uh, on this investigation, Ra was able to feel the, uh, the old man, uh, the family guy, the, the, the ancestor. Um, because that's his gift. He's able to feel that sort of thing. He was able to feel all the emotion and the intent of, uh, of the ancestors. Myself, on the other hand, I felt more of the negative spirit that was there, the twisted human spirit. Uh, because, well, I know what they feel like, I know what they smell like, and I can see them. So to me, uh, that one stood out the most. And to Bra, the other one stood out. Which is why we make such a darn good team, in my opinion. Because we both uh, have our own way of doing things, and we both have our own things, but we both pick up different things that the other one might miss. And I think that's what adds to the value of what we do. Okay, well, during this investigation at uh, Marianne and Hanks, uh, there were two entities that, that we felt. I felt one stronger than Danny did. The one I felt is uh, an old ancestor, like a great-great-grandfather, something like that, full of religious indignation because of the situation that his great-granddaughter was in. And because of his feelings of negativity and not liking it, it kind of overshadowed the, me feeling the spirit of the other one. Whereas Danny felt the other one more than he did of, you know, the grandfather. So because of this, one thing we did not, you know, put on camera, because I didn't want it on camera, was I blessed Marianne and Hank's union. I blessed it so no other ancestors can cause them harm or negativity or anything, you know, to this young couple. They're, you know, they're starting off, you know, they had bad lives now, they're, trying, they're doing really good right now, and so this is just to ensure that they continue moving forward in a positive light. Hi, Danny here from Jason Bones Inspectors. So today was a good day. Uh, we got over there, we found out what was going on, and uh, made sure that we got everything cleared up again for her and for him. And uh, yeah, I, I think I think we did a good job. Uh, they seem happy. So yeah, if they ever need us again, of course we'll go back. They're planning on someday moving, so when they go to a new place, of course, we're going to go there and bless their house for them. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to turn you over to Bra, see what Bra has to say. Alright, hello again, YouTubians. Yeah, um, we did the, the blessings on the house. Uh, yes, uh, something came in from after the last time we were there because they're working around the windows, which, you know, pretty much messed with the wards that we put on there. So we just had to re-strengthen them, blessing, re-bless the house and everything else. Found out it was uh, one of the things that they brought in from uh, old, you know, family heirloom type of deal. So, you know, please, if you're going to do that, remember that it could carry spirits with them. Uh, especially mirrors. So again, uh, again, um, if you guys like what you saw, let us know. Leave a comment below. You know, uh, subscribe, tell your friends about us crazy Canucks. And you know, let them know about us, because if we, the more people that we can help, the better you know their lives are going to be. Peace and love to all of you. Toodles. All right, and remember now, yeah. take, take care, care of yourself. yourself.
Take care of your families. Watch out <laughs> for ghosts. And have a great day. Toodles. Looking into the paranormal veil. Death waits for no one when it calls. Purgatory is the spirit's jail. Built behind the blind man's wall. Catch the specter behind the glass. He repeats the disembodied voice. It all happens when the bones are cast. After death, there is no choice. Looking into the paranormal veil, death waits for no one when they come. Purgatory is a spirit's jail. Built behind a blind man's wall. Pastors and healers and shamans and poets. We explore.